Right, welcome everyone to our latest video. We're going to be playing a series of uh, link scenarios uh, in Germany in 1813. So we're going to be reflecting part of the uh, German War of Liberation as they try and throw off the French occupation of their lands following the French defeat uh, and, and their retreat from Moscow. So as I'm sure you're all aware, the, the French army retreated back uh, into Poland and, and into, the, uh, uh, into the German uh, hinterland and Napoleon uh, moved back to Paris to start raising some new forces. So what we've got on the table today is uh, a representation of one of the sieges that followed. So some of the remnants of the uh, army uh, that invaded Russia are occupying a city uh, represented here through my garden windows. Uh, and uh, what we have on this ridge line is a set of besieging Prussian forces. Uh, all the forces in this game are pretty raw, so we've got some, uh, some land there occupying the siege lines. We've got some siege artillery in a couple of prepared positions. Uh, and we've got some slightly better Prussian troops uh, occupying this other uh, set of siege works with another uh, gun inside it. So uh, uh, they, these forces are uh, prosecuting the siege. Unbeknown to them, there's a French release force on the way approaching the field. So we've got a set of French forces here uh, moving up, uh, two brigades and a brigade of light cavalry. The vast majority of the French forces are going to be raw troops, newly raised by Napoleon with no experience, but a scattering of slightly more experienced troops pulled back from the peninsula. And we've Charlie. got some new skirmishes here. Do you want to have a look at our new skirmishes? Prussian. Yeah, Charlie's got some new Prussian Jaegers, which we're going to be using as skirmish troops in the game. All right. Cool. Let's crack on with turn one. So the Prussians have just detected the French forces approaching their position. Their objectives are to protect the siege lines, make sure the French don't break the siege and relieve the forces in the bastion that uh, the Prussians have uh, under assault. The objectives for the French are to come up and take these gun positions. Am I allowed to turn around my guns and use them against Yeah, absolutely you can, uh, but they'll be firing as uh, part batteries because it's not all uh, um, set up as one battery they're all separate guns in separate positions so we'll do the uh, we'll use the rules for reduced numbers of guns firing from these French positions all right let's uh, start by rolling for our ADCs all right let's just have a quick look at our opening forces these are the advancing French troops little yellow counters you can see are signaling the raw units you see a unit with a blue counter on it, it's a line unit, and a unit with a red counter, of which the French have one, are veterans. We've also got a small artillery battery moving up in support, and they have two small regiments of chasseurs à cheval fighting in support of this attack. So French have got three brigades. Um, one question, could I combine these two units to make a large unit and there'll be like no. one veteran or... No, they're all, uh, they're it, all separate units. This, so this is, like a, this is a small unit. Right, and now looking at the Prussians. And we've got a couple of artillery batteries here in their prepared positions for the siege. And here we have the Prussian land there. Holding the line, and then we have the Prussian regulars in that siege positions. All right, let's roll for ADCs, Charlie. We both have three ADCs, or three, three dice. Charlie, you get a bonus dice, so you only actually need to roll two. Okay. Your third so one I'll automatically one comes through. Yeah, you've got a good commander in this battle. I've got two ADCs. All right, and I got two ADCs. All right, let's Do deploy oh, yeah. our ADCs, and then we'll roll for initiative. All right, let's roll for initiative. So for the French, we get a seven, not a bad roll. For the Prussians, seven. we get a seven. Okay, it's a re-roll, because it's the first turn of the game. Let's roll again. French, don't do so well, only get a five. Double six. All right. I wish that was a shooting <laughs> roll now. Okay, Charlie, you get to start the game. Okay, Charlie, so what's your what's your defensive plan? Um. So I'm gonna actually, this is limber, just to say it's not turn around. Yeah. But I'm actually going to move my troops all up here in this corner. 
Yeah. So your artillery is really useless, so it can't really fire any of my troops. And if your troops get too close to my artillery, it's going to limber up and start retreating to keep my troops hopefully alive. Because... Um, remember the French yeah. objective of the game is to capture the siege position, so if you lose the siege positions you automatically lose the game. But I'm going to stay behind it until you start moving, right. so I can move up. Yeah. So then um, your artillery can't really shoot at me because I'll be in front of your troops, so if it probably does miss, it'll hit your own troops, so... Alright, cool. Well, we'll dangerous. see what happens. Now, French movement. Alright, so the French advance has uh, taken place. Their cavalry are pushing forward. Uh, their whole foot artillery battery is moving up and all of the battalions have moved forward. Charlie's moved his skirmishers across, so we'll have a little bit of firing. We'll get three shots uh, from the skirmishers, I think, Charlie. You've got three bases there, you're going to fire them at the French battalion that's nearest? Yeah, because I don't really matter about the skirmishers, I want to kill those battalions. Right. And uh, if I could, I would shoot the veteran, because that's my biggest threat, but then I could just focus on my, with my artillery on that veteran battalion. The cavalry's not really a problem to me, because if you go too far ahead, then I can just form squares and slowly pepper you down. And if you just stay too far back, I can threaten you from another battalion that goes behind it or square, so you would get a bit of a... Like, it would be harder to charge, because I could quickly move back one and move that one from, but... All right, on the um, firing then, Charlie. Yeah. So these yep. skirmishers are going to fire it then. Okay, three shots. Nothing. All right, I Where think that's it this turn. No, because they're, they're, they've all moved and they've yeah. done, done a lot of movement this turn. They'll be on um, penalties. Uh, also, this battery, we've made all that. Um, it can only fire once every three turns. Yeah, because, because it's, it's short of ammunition, yeah. yeah. All so, right, cool. Okay, on we go with turn two. So Charlie's gone for a forwards order on his uh, units in that defended position. All right, Charlie, uh, roll away, see if you can activate. Active. Okay, and then roll for your okay. uh, man there. They're active. active as well. That's going to be right. very good for me. Well, the French are all active as well, so you had initiative last turn, so if it's draw, you get to go first. I got a seven this time. Seven. Bye. Okay, we've Charlie. Always, we've always gotten a seven first. <laughs> yeah. so Indeed, you get to move first. All right, so uh, the French continue to advance, moving up their foot artillery and their brigade on the left, and their small cavalry brigade is uh, moving uh, out ahead. Uh, all brigades were active. They've moved their skirmish screen slightly around to the right to shield themselves from the fire coming out of this uh, small uh, building on the hill here. And down here, Charlie has uh, done a forwards order and he's deploying his troops backwards uh, away from that defensive position to form up. Uh, a, a strong position around this hilltop in the centre. All right, uh, Charlie will be able to open fire with his artillery now for this turn. Uh, let's move on to the firing phase. All right, Charlie, let's fire with your skirmishers against my skirmish screen, I think now, Charlie. Mm -hmm. I think I have better chance of winning that because I want to get rid of skirmishers now because they're always annoying for me. So it'll only be two shots because yeah. you're firing at skirmishers. One casualty. Okay, we'll mark that up. All right, your artillery battery in the centre, Charlie. Here. Your artillery battery is going to fight your veterans. Okie doke. That'll be at long range. We'll just check that, but I'm sure it's more than, uh, well, more than 24. So long range, um, away you go. Five will be Five. half the casualty. Uh, long range is half the casualty. That is a ca not a casualty, I'm going to see. Oh, I'm going to see not casualty. All right, that's the end of turn two. We'll move on with turn three. Okay, so we've rolled for activation and Charlie succeeded yet again, so he has won the initiative for the turn three. The French brigades are all active and we did get infantry assault off on this brigade uh, on the left here. So uh, we're starting to get ready for our assault on the left hand flank of Charlie's I have position. No, I have no charges, but I'm afraid you might have your cavalry in range. But then if I think about it, I do have two supports and I could attack to my general. So. We'll see how it goes. All right, yeah. let's move on with charge declarations. All right, we're going to go for it because we don't think Charlie has done his preparation uh, with his land there, right? He didn't form them in square last turn. So we've got an opportunity while still, they're I in still line. I still have a chance though, to form you square. You do still have a chance to form square. So, so we're going to charge with our chasseurs. They might not even the be in range. On the hill. Probably we'll see are. If they're in the range. Charlie oh, has no. successfully rolled a discipline test. This um, is going to be fun for I me. Was, uh, I was more than. Uh, 
nine inches away, so he's got the chance to form square uh, as I started my charge, and he has pulled it off successfully. This is going to so, be fun for me more than <laughs> so you. Charlie thinks you'll be able to repel this. Guy. I also have two support models and a general. All right, we'll see how this goes. All right, now let's roll the charge results. Um, I will get a re-roll because I've got a supporting unit, and Charlie will also get re-rolls at minus one if he needs them. Uh, because he has two supporting units. So rolling for the French. I get a nine. That's pretty good. I got a five. I'm going to move my one. Uh, but you don't need to. Okay. I'm going to. Okay. Cool. I got a five. All right. So I can't I possibly nine. win. What nine have we got plus, then, Charlie? Nine plus two, I got eleven. Eleven. And I got nine plus one is ten. So it's a minus one. So I retire oh. with one casualty. And the square stands and takes... One casualty. All right, we'll just do the movement. Okay, moving on to turn four, we're all for ADCs. Let's see how we do. Okay, the French get two and the Prussians get two, but they get a bonus dice. So uh, the Prussians have got three ADCs this turn. I think they may go for artillery assault. Okay, so we're rolling for the Landwehr. Uh, let's see if they get their artillery assault attack off. They do. Okay, that's a success and then Moving for the... Ah! No, sorry. Roll back. We've just done charges. We haven't done normal movement or firing. <laughs> so sorry for racing away, but that Charlie just uh, went off and I went to grab a cup of tea. I've forgotten where we got to. We'll just complete movement for turn three before we move on to turn four. Okay, so we'll now do firing. The Prussian uh, regulars brigade is uh, just moving back, uh, still redeploying into a, a defensive position, provide some support to the rear of the Russian position, the Prussian position. Their artillery battery is going to open fire at those closing French battalions and the Prussian skirmishers will open fire this turn. They get to fire first in turn three, firing. Okay, so the Prussian artillery is opening up at uh, this battalion here and this is at effective range. We get a 10, that's a pretty good roll. Effective range 10 is three casualties and a discipline test on the French veterans. Okay, now rolling the discipline test on the French. They roll a seven, they're veterans, and they have only three casualties, so they will be fine. The attack continues. All right, that's all firing done. Uh, skirmishes have also exchanged a couple of casualties each. Uh, we will now fire the French artillery. It is going to have a go. It has unlimbered this turn, uh, but it has deployed itself here. It's a small battery. It's only got six guns. Uh, but it is going to have a go against that attractive target, the Prussians who formed square this turn. All right, so artillery moved is minus two, but its target is in square. So it gets plus two combat dice. All right, rolling this. This is also, I believe, at long range. Right, OK, so the French get a nine at long range, which is one casualty in a discipline test, and they get one more casualty from the combat dice. So let's do a discipline test on the land that square. They roll an eight, uh, minus uh, one for their status as uh, uh, recruits, but they will still pass. So uh, we'll mark the casualties up. Okay, now we generally are on to turn four in ADCs. The allies get uh, one plus their bonus dice, so they get two and the French have two. So the French are going to go for infantry assault on their right-hand brigade, and the Allies will go for artillery assault on their artillery battery. So rolling for the artillery battery, they are active, rolling for that other brigade that's redeploying. Ah, it's hesitant, but it will get a chance to move on the spot. So that's the brigade over there. So the British, uh, sorry, the Prussians will be at minus one. It's using those red dice, <laughs> confusing me. All right, and then for the French, we'll roll for the artillery assault, which goes off. Then the brigade already with artillery assault goes hesitant and the cavalry is active. So both are testing at minus one. And the French have initiative. Okay, so at the end of turn four, the uh, French are doing reasonably well at the moment. The right-hand brigade, which has now got infantry assault orders off, is about to successfully capture this part of the Spanish defences. Unfortunately, their supporting brigade has gone hesitant in the centre. Their artillery will have another go at the Prussian square, uh, and the Prussians landwehr has been uh, continued to be forced into square by the presence of the French chasseurs. So 
it will remain vulnerable to French artillery. Down uh, here, the French have started to, oh, sorry, the Prussians have started to redeploy. Uh, they are, they have unlimbered their uh, single artillery piece down here, and they've formed up behind this fence line, uh, and have formed up and are facing the enemy again. So we'll expect to see them probably to move up in support of the defensive positions on the hill imminently. Right, that's it for turn four. We'll now move on to firing. Okay, so first the French will fire at the Prussians in the square on the hill. A five will be nothing at long range. A uh, half a casualty and one more casualty from the artillery dice. Let's see if the half a casualty comes through. It does, so it's another two casualties on the land there on the hill from a French artillery battery down here. Okay, we'll then fire with the French skirmishers. Let me just put a dice down to mark up the casualties. That's two on that battalion, and then we'll fire the French skirmishers against the, uh, against the Prussians, we'll do it simultaneously. Neither side cause any casualties, and then we'll do the French skirmishers on the far side against the guys uh, in the building. Again, one more casualty on that French skirmish screen, that does take them to three, and that reduces that skirmish screen uh, being on balance, a raw screen. Uh, because they've got two raw units, uh, that means that they lose a skirmish base, so they only have two skirmish bases, and when you lose one, you're down to one, and therefore your screen is eliminated. So the French have lost their skirmishers on the right flank. Alright, I'll just go mark those casualties, and then we'll do the Prussian artillery fire. Okay, so the Prussian artillery is going to open up at that closing French veteran battalion. This is now at close range, this could be quite damaging. There are nine, that's pretty good. They get no extra damage from their combat dice, but a nine at close range is three casualties and another discipline test on the French. So that will take them up to six casualties, and so this test will be at minus one. We roll a seven. Uh, that goes up to an eight because they're veterans. Lose one because of the casualties, down to a seven. They can continue, but they've taken a fair few hits. Okay, we rolled for ADCs again. The Prussians tried to try and get artillery assault off on their battery on the hill, uh, but that unfortunately failed, and both brigades have gone hesitant uh, for the French. Their right hand brigade, sorry, their right hand brigade and their centre brigade are both active, but their cavalry on the left flank went hesitant. Okay, let's roll for initiative. French were plus one. French get six, but the Prussians get an eight. The Prussians get to move first. Okay, so we're reaching crunch time as the French attempt to seize the siege works uh, and capture the siege batteries. The uh, French veteran battalion has charged the artillery battery in the centre uh, and it's got a battalion in support. The second battalion, third battalion in that brigade has now formally captured the siege works on the right. The Prussian skirmishers who are in that building because they're too far to uh, be in command have had to remain in that built-up area uh, and uh, can't really take any more active part in the game. Their, their uh, role as uh, harassing skirmishers uh, successfully concluded. Here in the centre, being hesitant, the Prussians are pretty much stuck where they are and uh, we'll have another round of firing as we look to move into turn six. So charge resolutions, res resolutions first, defensive fire from that artillery battery against the attacking French. Okay, so the artillery is firing at a column, at effective or close range. So how do we do? We get an 11, that's pretty good, and a bonus casualty. So at close range, this is gonna be pretty devastating. That's four casualties, five casualties, and a discipline test on the veterans. Okay, so we'll be testing it on minus one because of the cumulative casualties. We rolled a seven, that makes them go to six unformed. This charge is really likely, unlikely to go in now as they're unformed and they lost nearly 50% of their battalion uh, in, that, uh, in that devastating uh, shrapnel volley uh, from the brigade. All right, we'll now do the charges. The French do have the benefit of the reroll, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Okay, so the French are testing at minus six. All right, they get an eight, the allies get an 11. Uh, we'll try their reroll, see what that gets them to. A 12, that's pretty good, but it's not a natural 12, so that won't be a destiny test. A 12 minus 6 takes them to 6, they've lost by 5. So infantry versus artillery at minus 5, they retire and take one casualty. They're already in 11, 
that means they disperse and that brigade will have to take a falter test. Okay, turn seven, key for the French to get a good bunch of ADCs so they can survive this falter test and hopefully pull off a charge again with their cavalry and do some damage uh, against these uh, landwehr on the hill. Uh, we've done some exchange of uh, a skirmisher fire and the re remaining artillery fire, uh, so we'll now move on with ADCs in uh, uh, turn seven. Okay, rolling for ADCs. Prussians do well, they get two ADCs and their bonus for three, and the French have two ADCs. All right, we'll deploy those ADCs, see what happens in turn seven. Okay, so rolling for our falter test first. We get a one with our ADC reroll. We get a three. That's not great. So on a faltering brigade, they are now recruits quite firmly. Three will be a retire and they continue faltering. Okay, now let's roll for the brigade in the center. They are hesitant and the cavalry is active for the French. All right, so uh, the French are at minus two to the initiative tests. And the allies have initiative. Okay, with the hope of trying to clutch uh, victory from the jewels of defeat, the French chasseurs have decided their chance is now to save the day. So they've had another go. They've charged up the ridge again at these landfair on the hill. We'll see how they do. The landfair have a chance to form square as that charge comes thundering in. Uh, otherwise, the French in the centre are hesitant. Their brigade on the right flank is retiring and is now again in range of those harassing fire from those uh, Prussian skirmishers in the building. And over here, the Prussians are starting to reform themselves into attack column uh, and shake themselves out so they can start moving up and uh, reoccupying their defensive positions there on the left flank. And the French, uh, sorry, the Prussian artillery has now formed up and has formed a full but battery uh, on the hill here. So it'll now be firing at full effect rather than as a short battery for the rest of the game. Okay, on we go with turn seven, I think. Okay, so the land where I've got a form square, this will be at minus two because of casualties they've suffered and because they're in the line. They're all a six, minus two is a four. So they go unformed. And I think that means they've failed to form square. Unfortunately for the land there, this is going to be a test at uh, minus five. Two for being form, unformed, two for being in a line, and one for the casualties. Ah, they've, uh, they've gone. They've, uh, they've lost, and they've lost by more than six. So cavalry versus infantry, minus six or worse, the defender, uh, sorry, plus six or worse. The cavalry get victory, they take a casualty, and the defenders are ridden down, and they get the option to charge on, which the French will do. And they can charge on, I think it is, 3d6. Right, let's see how far that charge on is. 15, more than enough. They will go into another Prussian infantry battalion. And let's do the risk to the Prussian Brigadier. A 10. Ah, I think that may have also killed the Brigadier. Yeah, risk the General. General is skewered by the dueling champion of the opposing regiment. The brigade falters. It already was, but uh, that's not going to help. Okay, so we've got another charge as the chasseurs uh, have ridden down that uh, unit of Lambe units that was here on the hill, and they've pursued and charged on into this next unit of Lambe. They do have to do a defensive volley because I think this just counts as another brand new charge, but they don't have the opportunity to form square as the chasseurs were uh, within nine inches, uh, although. These battalions weren't within support range of the uh, land bear battalion on the hill. Um, all right, let's let's roll the defensive volley. That was nearly a good score, but turned into a four. That'll be no effect. All right, let's do the charge results. Okay, so I think the charge results here will be plus three for the French. So the French get their commander added in. They haven't suffered significant casualties. Uh, they are charging on, so that makes it plus two, and they're a morale grade better than the Prussians, so that makes it plus three. I don't think the Prussians can uh, attach their brigadier as he was killed in this round of combat. So this is a plus three. Both sides will get a reroll if they choose. All right, so that's looking good for the Prussians. The Prussians have got a five, the French have got a th three, the French will reroll the one. 
They've still got a three. I think the Prussians, well, I just knocked those over completely. The French have uh, got a three. The Prussians will stick on a 10. So the French lose remarkably by six. So they were clearly exhausted uh, and deceived, dis uh, disordered and fatigued by breaking that uh, first Prussian landwehr unit. And the volley, even though it didn't cause any casualties, uh, discombobulated them. Uh, and they've been unable to charge home against that line of bayonets. Um, and they can't really get around the flanks, as you can see. So uh, perhaps that was the reason. Anyway, for whatever reason, uh, the cavalry versus infantry, minus six. Cavalry will retreat with 1d3 casualties. Let's see. Three casualties to the French. I'll just move the French cavalry back. Okay, so we've just done skirmisher fire here, and the Prussians have inflicted another casualty on the French skirmishers. They're already on two, that takes them to three, so that wipes out this skirmish screen. Right, next we will fire our Prussian artillery battery against this battalion of regular French infantry that uh, it's close to at the moment. Okay, so the Prussians can't get in column, so they will get broken by nice. Don't do anything from that, but they get a seven, uh, and I think that will also be at close range. I'll check that, but it is a seven, it's two casualties, and a discipline test. All right, we'll roll the discipline test against this French battalion. Straight roll. And they get a four. No, that's not a good result. Uh, fortunately, they've only taken two casualties, so they simply go unformed. All right, uh, we have fired against these battalions here, and they're now taking a lot of skirmish of fire. We have six bases firing at them. We only caused one casualty against the right-hand battalion. And now, finally, we will fire the French artillery. It's going to have to do counter-battery fire, so this will be at minus two, because it hasn't really got any other targets, um, against the Prussian artillery on the hill. Rolls a six. That goes down to a four. That will be no effect. That's it. At the end of turn eight. OK, we're all for ABCs on turn nine. Remembering the French still have a faltering brigade. OK, so the French get only one ADC. That's not good. They'll have to allocate that there to their faltering brigade. The Allies get one, but they get their bonus, so that takes them up to two. All right, let's roll for the French. So neither of the French regular brigades have any re-rolls. So for the Hesitant Brigade, it is now active. And for the Cavalry, they are also active, so that's good for them. And the important roll, with no re-roll, this is for the Hesitant Brigade on the right. It's a two. That's not good. They're all recruits. I think they will be retreating again. So one or two, Savoir Keeper, not great. They're going to be pretty much off the back of the table. Okay, so rolling for both Prussian brigades, we're going to try and put artillery assault on our land there. And it comes off, and we're going to try and activate the other brigade. They go hesitant, but they have already, with their skirmishers, reoccupied their position over there. So that's not a major uh, impact on them this turn. All right, artillery assault on the land there, artillery. Okay, so the French are down to two ADCs now. They have managed to get both of those active, so both sides have got... No, sorry, I've done ADCs, haven't I? Yeah, I've done ADCs. I'm just rolling for initiative. I'll do that again. Rolling for initiative. The French have got one hesitant brigade, um, or one retreating brigade, and the Prussians the same. So, Prussians, again, have initiative in turn nine. Okay, not much movement in turn nine. This Prussian brigade over here is... Hesitant, unfortunately, so uh, it's not been able to move forward. The French, uh, for their one un, uh, one formed up battalion, has now moved up and captured the first of the uh, siege artillery positions on the hill, but unfortunately hasn't captured any of the siege artillery itself. The Prussian skirmishers passed their test and successfully fell back in front of it, and the other Prussian skirmishers around here are moving around to increase the pressure on this one remaining Prussian brigade. French Brigade and the French Light Cavalry have formed up again. They may have one more attack in them on the land where we'll see as we move into firing for turn nine. Okay, so the French Foot Artillery Battery is going to take aim at the Prussian Battery on the hill, do a bit of counter battery fire, and see what it achieves. It achieves a five at long range. That's half a casualty on the Prussian Artillery, but no effect. All right, we'll do the Prussian Return Fire. Prussian skirmishers have caused no casualties, so we'll start first with the Prussian artillery against the line battalion. Uh, that again is at short range, and it's got artillery assault, and the target is in column, so there are three casualty dice on top. 
We get one for that and a five, so a pretty poor artillery fire this turn. Battery at close range on a five is one casualty. That's two more casualties on this French infantry battalion. Otherwise, it's fine. Okay, so turn 10 and the APCs, the French down to two again. They get one off and they still have a faltering to the brigade, so they have to deploy that to their faltering brigade. The Prussians have one and their bonus one, which takes them up to two. Prussians again, I think, will have a go at artillery assault. Doesn't go off on the land there. That's uh, unfortunate and actually will take the Prussian artillery out because it can only fire straight ahead uh, if it is um, hesitant. Right, so the Landwehr are hesitant themselves and the regular brigade is active. And then the, for the French, their light cavalry is active and the remaining brigade in the assault is active. All right, okay. And now let's do the reroll for their retreating brigade. Six, they obey orders. All right, a really good turn for the French in terms of morale, but I think that final brigade is too far away uh, over there to take any further active part in the battle. Might attack the farm just for fun. Um, otherwise, uh, we get on with initiative. So, let's roll. I know I had at least one hesitant Prussian brigade. It's plus one for the French. Uh, eight against seven. Uh, I think both Prussian brigades may be hesitant. So, we'll give initiative to the French this turn. Apologies if I got that wrong. Okay, so really key move for the French. They've been able to charge the Prussian artillery battery in the flank, but they do have to take some passing fire from this Landwehr battalion down here, and indeed from the Prussian skirmishers up there. Um, so we'll let's do that first, see if that can disrupt this attacking Prussian formation going in. So the, the French formation going in, these are really important volleys. This will be an inferior volley for the Landwehr, being uh, recruits. It's not too bad, that's an eight as an inferior volley, is two casualties. Um, on the attacking French battalion, and then the skirmishers fire, and they cause another. So that's three casualties in the charge on that attacking French battalion. A really critical charge result here for the French. So no supports for either side, uh, as the artillery is unsupported, and the French infantry battalion uh, was out of support range, but took the opportunity for this flank attack. So uh, it will be minus... Four, I think, for the artillery, because they're being charged in the flank. The unit has taken one casualty and took three in the charge. So it's minus three for the French, I think. Let's see how we do. Right, great result for the French. They've rolled a ten, and the Prussians have rolled a five. So they've won by five, I think they've won by six. That's victory. They have captured and destroyed the gun battery. Definitely a case of never giving up for the French. Uh, they've done really well there. They've, uh, they've wiped out that artillery battery and captured the battery positions on the hill. Meanwhile, their other brigade has resumed its uh, advance as it's recovered from its falter tests uh, and is moving forward slowly to reinforce this position. And the chasseurs have occupied the hill. They couldn't charge because they were more than nine inches away and couldn't see over the brown of the hill. So they will take a defensive volley from that Prussian, second Prussian Landwehr battalion. So we'll fire them. They do an eight, that's pretty good. Let's see what an inferior volley of an eight is. I think we'll look it up a second ago. I think it's two casualties. It is two casualties on the leading Chasseur regiment, but not enough to cause them to take a discipline test. Right, and that'll be it for turn 10, two turns to go. Okay, let's roll for ADC, it's on turn 11. The French get Two, the British, sorry, Prussians, uh, also get two. All right, let's allocate those ODCs and do activations. Okay, so the Prussian regular brigade unfortunately has gone hesitant, so it's really not playing any active part in this battle, and that's uh, being uh, form causing a lot of hard work for the land there, whose artillery and infantry battalions have taken the whole weight of the French attack this turn. Over on the right, uh, we can see, unfortunately, that brigade that was moving up in support again has gone hesitant for the French. But the battalion on the hill and their chasseurs are active. And now the falter test for the land where the Prussians did give themselves a reroll. They've rolled a four. Let's see what a four is for a recruit. Is a rally. All right, I think we'll definitely stick with that. 
Okay, so that does mean that brigade is hesitant, and so the whole Prussian army is hesitant. Clearly the loss of its artillery in the centre has been a crushing blow to their morale. Uh, this will be minus, uh, minus one on the Prussian dice. So the Prussians are all two, the French are all four, uh, the French have initiative. I'm sure we'll see some charges this turn. Okay, so two charges by the French. The Chasseurs again are charging the Landwehr, see whether they can break this brigade. And they've charged the second small gun battery on the hill, the conscripts. It might be victory for the conscripts in this day. All right, this is turn 11. Let's see the defensive fire first by the Landwehr against these attacking French cavalry, and there will be both battalions able to volley. Okay, rolling both defensive volleys. That's an eight and a seven, uh, an inferior volley. So that's three casualties on the attacking chasseurs. Okay, so when you're firing at a unit with supports, the majority of casualties go against the lead unit and the rest go to supports, but my support is not visible to the defending units, so all casualties then go on the front unit. So that's three casualties on the chasseurs. Uh, this turn, that takes them up to five. Let's do the charge results. Okay, so the French are on minus three, the Prussians are on minus one. Prussians go down to three, French go to eight. Prussians will take a reroll. They are on a seven. Still a minus one, which goes down to a six. The French are already on an eight, but at minus three is a five. So a five against a six would be minus one, which would be a retirement. So we will reroll the three. That was a five and a three becomes a five and a two. So that's a seven minus three is minus, seven minus three is four. So they've lost by two, uh, same result. Uh, they cast to the cavalry retire and the defenders stand. So the Prussians have held this part of the ridge. Okay, so the Prussians are on minus four, being charged in the flank, and the French are on minus one for uh, casualties, but plus one for the general. So minus four on the Prussians. Okay, well, that's not necessarily a foregone conclusion. The French get a six, Prussians get an eight. And the Prussians were on minus four, so that takes them down to a six. So that is a draw uh, on the zero. That is a volley. So the column stops and follows the artillery and does one casualty on the artillery battery. Bad news for the French, I thought they'd taken the second artillery battery of the game there. Okay, so turn 12, final turn of the game. Let's see how we do. Prussians get two ADCs, French get two ADCs. Okay, so as is appropriate in the last turn of the game, everyone's active, let's see what we can do. All right, eight, eight, that's a draw. Who on earth had initiative last turn? I really can't remember. I will do a re-roll. Okay, looks like Prussians had initiative last turn. Again, apologies if I got that wrong. <laughs> I'm not. Um, let's, let's see what happens in this last turn. Prussians move first. All right, first thing, um, the French, uh, and it is the only charge of the game, so who goes first wouldn't have really mattered. The French have charged again at this gun. Uh, they have got quite a lot of casualties. They've already suffered seven casualties. Charlie will get passing fire from both units of skirmishers. So that's actually five skirmisher shots you get, Charlie, needing fives or sixes. Oh, I got wow. four. That's pretty good. That takes that unit up to 11 casualties. It's nearly wiped out. Oh my gosh, you might have just saved that gun for the Prussians. Okay, let's do the charge results. Okay, so the French are on minus five, and the Prussians are on... Plus one. Plus one, all right. Uh, oh, minus four for the French, because we've got our leader mm. attached as well. Wow, I get an 11, that's not bad. Oh, I got seven, plus one. I have eight, but you still get minus four. So I'm on seven, mm. so I lose by one. I think I'll, I'll keep that. So at minus one... I just get to do a volley against you. I so it looks it. like that gun's going to survive, and indeed, I don't do a casualty against it. I'll say, if it's a combat, and even worse, you could destroy that battalion, you get a Volta. This is true, that battalion is very nearly destroyed. In fact, you might be able to... Just kill yeah, it. I don't know whether you can. 
Uh, I don't think you've got anything in a position. All right, it'll now be normal movement. Okay, so we're at the end of the game. That was a really close game. So a good result for the French in that they've destroyed the bulk of the Prussian siege artillery uh, that uh, has been battering the French fortress here. But we can see we still have one gun that survived for the Prussians, despite being charged twice by this conscript battalion. And that battalion itself is on the point of collapse, having taken 11 casualties, so it's very fragile now. We do have some uh, uh, French brigades coming up as reinforcement, and we still have this line battalion in reasonable health, having only taken four casualties. Charlie has reinforced uh, the ridge line by moving up both of his units of landware to establish uh, occupation of the line in the last turn, and the French cavalry were unable to charge uh, up um, because they couldn't see the land there in the charge phase. And Charlie has, uh, over on this flank, firmly re-established the Prussians uh, in possession of their own siege works there. No French units threatening it. So they firmly hold the left flank. And really the battle, the battle uh, felt like a battle against one uh, Landwehr artillery battery, or the artillery battery attached to the Landwehr brigade to be more precise. Uh, and indeed the bulk of the battle was held by the Landwehr, but that was the French plan to put pressure on this left flank, pin the Landwehr with the uh, chasseurs, which worked quite well. Uh, caused some casualties with the French um, artillery battery, which also did work well and caused the Landwehr to have to redeploy into line because it was taking too many casualties and then ultimately they lost it. But when the chasseurs were un unable to break the Landwehr brigade, I think that's what finally uh, has preserved the position for the Prussians. So looking at the scenario rules, I had to have two uh, unbroken French units on the ridge line and destroy the Prussian siege artillery. Uh, well, the Prussian siege artillery is still partly in place. There is one French battalion on the ridge, but the Prussians are also up on the ridge as well. Um, so a very close fought game. I think I'll marginally give it to the Prussians as there's not much left in terms of French attacking force. And most of the Prussian battalions are still in good strength. Both the Landwehr have taken no casualties and indeed the regular brigade has taken no casualties either. So they should be able to retain possession of this ridge. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick game. And we'll have a second scenario as the French again try and break the siege. And they're going after the artillery powder supplies of the Prussians in the next scenario. See you next time. Cheers, everyone. Have a great weekend.